Hi, my name is Renee Golson, and I am your Rodan and Fields um, independent consultant. And today I would like to show you how to use the Redefine Regimen. And I'm going to team it up today with the eye cream and also with the Bright Eye Complex. So let's get started. You received your regimen. Inside has all four products. Um, also inside, I want to draw your attention to the instruction package. This is very informative. As you leaf through it, it's a really good read about the doctors. But I want to clue you in on this ramp up schedule. Now, Redefine, you don't have to worry about having a staging cycle. You can start it morning and night. If in the first week or two you have any kind of sensitivity, then you might want to um, drop it back to once every other day just for a couple days and see how your skin does. But most people don't have any problems with um, Redefine as far as their skin getting used to it. So there's also some really good um, other products that you can use with it. And on the back are frequently asked questions, which are really informative. So definitely open that up, give it a read, it's worth your time. Today I'm gonna to take you through the process of how I use Redefine. So first things first, I've already done this, but you wash your skin with something gentle like Cetaphil. Cetaphil or CeraVe or one of those um, off brands like this are really recommended by Drs. Rodan and Fields because it will not strip your skin of its natural oils. We need that in our skin. So this is a really great cleanser. You wanna do this before you do the regimen, okay? The next one you're gonna do is the deep, or the daily cleansing mask. Now, some people skip this in the morning and they just do it at night and that's fine. For best results, of course, you wanna do all these steps morning and night, but you're still gonna get great results if you skip this one step in the morning. So always cleanse, and then if you skip this step, you'll go right to number two, which is the toner. So today I'm gonna to show you how I use this. What I found is that the clay mask goes on beautifully when your skin is a little bit moistened. So I moisten it with warm water. Make sure you get your upper neck too. I moisten it, let me get my towel here, just like that. And then I spread, I'm using my travel size too, just so you know there is a travel size. So I'm gonna use about this much, and because my fingertips are wet, I'm gonna spread that all over. And I spread it quite quickly, and I include my eyes being closed. I wanna get all the way out by my hairline. You don't need it to be thick to be effective. Sometimes you gotta use a little bit more because you wanna get your neck and your upper chest area. And normally I would pull this down a little bit more so you get up through here because we're aging on our neck and everywhere like that. So normally this dries pretty quickly. I like to take this and tap it and that way it pushes the product down and then close it. And then I normally store it like this, okay? So while this clay mask dries, it's pretty quick. I normally brush my teeth, um, do something else that allows it to dry. The drying is when it draws out the impurities in our skin. So this is something I multitask with. I have a routine in the morning that works really well for me. I normally get up, wash my skin, put on my mask, um, go do something else for a second. Sometimes I go get my shoes, my socks. I get dressed. I pick out my outfit. Okay, so this dries, it's already drying quite nicely. And then I'm gonna rinse it off with warm water. I don't wanna use hot water, I wanna use warm water. It comes off beautifully. If you ever find that it's, it's sticky in some places, I like to use a washcloth and I like to moisten it so that it's nice and warm. And you can set that on kind of the steam it off a little bit, but it normally comes off super quick and easy. So you put that step on, let it dry, okay? The thinner you put it on, it's still gonna be effective, but it's gonna dry a little quicker. So I'm gonna take that off, and I'm gonna rub gently, just like so. Okay, the next step is the toner. And one thing you need to know for sure is that this toner does two things. Not only does it reset the normal pH of my skin so that the next product works, but it also is a pore minimizing toner. As we get older, we lose elastin and collagen in our skin and so our pores get larger. We need to close those pores so that the environment and any makeup we put on our face doesn't get in our pores because it clogs our pores and then it can lead to acne or blackheads. 
So this is very important. You can do this one of two ways. I like to use a little spray bottle. And so I'm sending this to you. If you have one, you can find them at Walmart for like 97 cents in the travel section, the travel sizes. So I put just a little bit, I pour it in here and I pour maybe a week's worth because this is packaged in a dark, like an opaque, so light can't get through and also so air can't get through. When you use a, a depressor like this, every time I depress it, air gets in the product. So that's why I only put a couple days or a week's worth in here. And all I do is I open it up and this pours quite nicely into here. So I do it over the sink and just go slow. So I've put it in here already. If you don't wanna use that, you can use your fingertips. So you can just use your fingertips like this and then spread it around. You can also use gauze, but my thing is, I wanna get the product on my skin. I don't want it to be wasted in gauze. And that's ultimately what happens when we use gauze. So in the beginning, I started using my fingertips and that was a great thing. And then I had a friend tell me about you know, suggested the bottle, the spray bottle, and I always go back to, they package these things with scientific research behind it. So it's very important not to change their packaging. However, I've added this little step, and I like it because <clears throat> you spray it on, little spritz, and then I just pat it all over. I think it's a little bit faster to spray my face and pat it in, as opposed to my fingertips, and definitely I don't use gauze, just because I've learned that I want it on my face, not in the trash can. So you put the, the toner on, super great, no alcohol in it, it closes my pores, it gets the pH reset for the next step. So this is step number two. It dries very quickly, so you don't have to wait. So at this point, I have the Bright Eye Complex. At this point, this is where I would put it on. So let me show you how I do that. So I'm gonna start with just a small size, maybe about that size, and I'm gonna tap it. And this you can get on those little brown areas and also closer to the eye. And I tap it in and I put a little bit up here on my eyelid just because I have a little bit of rosiness there. And then I put a little bit more on the other side. So again, change the amount of volume based on the surface area. So I put it on generously. I've tried it before with less, and I didn't think I got as great a result. So I put it on a little bit thicker than I normally would put it on. I'm not a heavy product user, so I have to coach myself to put it on a little bit more. So I put it on and I put it right along where I have any puffiness or brown marks and then closer under the eye. I'm telling you that because when you get to the eye cream, I'm gonna tell you to put it further away from the eye. Okay, so I did that, and you want this to completely absorb and dry. So what I've learned to do is put this on, and you can go do something else for a second, or you could move on to the next step, but kind of, you're gonna put the next step a little bit farther out. So this was the Bright Eye Complex, awesome stuff. So then I'm gonna move on to the number three. Now, number three, there's an AM and a PM. The PM has PM on top, the new AM has AM on top, thank goodness. So AM has SPF 30 in it, and it's a moisturizer for the day, and it's protective of your skin. The PM does not have the SPF, because you don't need it at night for the sun, but it has retinol in it, which is anti-aging. So AM definitely with the SPF, PM is with the retinol at night. So don't use them at the same time, AM and PM. So there's, so this is step number three. So I'm gonna use the AM cream because it's daytime right now. And I like to use what's up in the cap. This comes full. So I'm just gonna tap it on my skin all over, however you like to spread it. I start with the little dots because I don't wanna overspread it. And I can always add more. So I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna rub it in. It rubs in beautifully. And you just wanna get nice, even coverage. Doesn't have to be really thick. I'm gonna keep it underneath my eyes because I want that bright eye to continue to dry. And it's almost dry right now. It doesn't take long. I'm gonna spread this everywhere. Make sure you get all of your face. Just like that. Don't forget your neck under your under your chin because we have a lot of the aging happens on our neck. So I don't put it on really thick. I kind of see what my skin needs, 
how thirsty it is, and I spread accordingly. So that dries super quick. Okay, so I'm gonna close that back up. Make sure you close them tight. No air gets in. Okay, so I'm looking at my bright eye. It's pretty much absorbed in now. So I am going to add to the mix my little multifunction eye cream. And I'm gonna show you, I close it tight so I gotta open it here. I'm gonna show you how I use it. So I take just a little bit and I'm gonna put it up underneath my, my brow and I'm gonna dot it below where I put my bright eye cream. And I'll tell you why that's so important. And when you use it, use your weaker fingers to dab it in. Don't use your strongest fingers because the skin around your eye, it's definitely more fragile. So think of a skeleton. And if you think of the skeleton, this is your orbital bone, okay? You wanna put your eye cream along your orbital bone, not up next to your eye like the bright eye cream. So out here, because it moves up to an inch, throughout the day or at night. So if you put it too close to your eye, it won't help with the puffiness. It will actually add to it. So go ahead and put it out right under your eyebrow and along your orbital bone, and it will move through the day. So I did the right eye, let me finish the left eye. And you'll be surprised how amazing this eye cream is. This sold out last year, or year before last, four times. We call it eye crack lovingly because it helps your, your eye tissue draw up and that's what we want. We want our eye tissue to pull away from our eyes, not begin to sag into our eyes. So that's it. I did the whole regimen right there. It took maybe five minutes of my day and adding this in the AM did not really add any more but it helped to get my, my day started. So if you don't use the number one clay mask in the morning, don't beat yourself up. We all have a time schedule we're trying to keep, but definitely don't skip it in the PM. Super important, okay? Um, if you have any questions, you know where to find me. It's Renee Golson. My phone number is 270-933-2953. Or you can find me on Facebook under Renee F. Golson and my little kids, my twins are on there. So reach out with any questions, I'd love to help you. Uh, Redefine is for anti-aging, fine lines, wrinkles, and it is a dynamite product line. So please take your before and after pictures in natural light because pictures tell everything. And then if you want me to help you, send those pictures to me. I will not share them with anybody but you, and I'll put them together with a before and after collage. So your skin changes in four weeks. You should start to see a big difference in four weeks. By eight weeks, you should see a really great difference. So stick with it. It's all about consistency. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Reach out with any questions. I'm here to help you. Thanks so much. Bye.